Welcome back to Let's Play Ghost of a Tale, Burning Dog fans. Last time we met with the commander and uh, got assigned an even more difficult mission than the one given to us by Silas. I also found some nifty pants. But, uh, I've changed back to this, incidentally, because it lets me do this and just be nice and free. Oh, I better recharge. Uh... Okay. Yeah, good. Great! I'm on board with that. Sup? Okay, Westgate. I guess I'll just keep going in this direction. Oh god. Let's not do that again. I say in the plural as if you guys had anything to do with that. Oh, at one point in a previous episode, I skipped a bit. I turned off the camera so I could cross the keep. And during that section, I fell a fair distance and uh, ended up taking no damage. Oh god. But, uh, when he landed on the ground, Tylo just fell and lay there for a sec- actually a few seconds. And it made me wonder, it's like, oh, am I actually dead? Is it gonna come up with a you died thing? And the... I just thought that was interesting, where it's like, you can fall hard, far enough to, like, knock the wind completely out of you for a few seconds. Oh. Was that always there? Is that the west gate? I would have thought it would be, you know, in that direction. Given the name. No, this is the main gate. Halt! But it's not. But it isn't... Oh, I couldn't ask about the Jailer. Well, fuck you, then. Is there a barrel around here? I want to save and then see what happens if I just try to walk out there. There should be one over here, right? If I remember the theory correctly. How about the trough? Can I save in the trough? Oh, my armor is gonna rust. Do it quick, then. Those shoes look so heavy. Okay, I like that. That was well done. I'm not even mad. Well, okay, now we know. And that's what's important. I guess it's because he can see me. He doesn't give a shit. Like normally, he'd be like, that just draws his attention to me. But since I'm dressed as a guard, he's like, why the fuck is that guy throwing sticks? Oh, that's very strangely convenient. And there's a beetle up there. That will bring me up to uh, almost all of them, if I remember correctly. Oh, okay, that gives me an idea. Okay, so it turns out there's a fucking switch right next to that one I tried to open by throwing sticks at it. That's really embarrassing. I don't know, I just thought it was cute. Off it goes. Oh, 
Okay. Uh, yeah, that makes me better. Uh, what does the pumpkin hat do? Nothing. It's just weird. Okay. Oh, he's still standing right next to it. Excuse me. Ooh, ooh. Hey, you know what? Nope, nothing in here. What? Oh, are you looking for that guy who just ran past? He was extremely handsome. Is that the one you're looking for? <laughs> and he goes back and investigates it anyway. That's awesome. I mean, they're easier to fool than anything in the world, but... Okay, trying to head to the west. Oh, God. Let's see. Guess I'll start here. Oh, this is making me crazy. Can't wait till we get down into the tunnel so I can just beat Tylo again. Stupid circular. Is this going to give me the opportunity to go further west? No. Uh, yeah, that's west. Okay, fuck. I am an idiot, apparently. I'll try getting up. Maybe if I go to the forest. Was that in the west side or the east side? Ah, uh, this is driving me insane. I had the ranger outfit instead. Actually, they'd probably wonder why I was doing that in here. It would be funny to complete the king's outfit, but I'm not sure what it's going to accomplish. I mean, for that matter, I'm not really sure... Oops. Okay, I head out here. Turn this way. Get lost. Are these the stairs? These look familiar from last time. What? I need sticks. Oh, wait! I don't need to climb up there this time. Pretty sure the odds are that, uh, oh, of course he's going to recognize me. He's talked to me before. Uh, Rolo just immediately sees through the disguise. The loot is, uh, admittedly, kind of a dead giveaway. I wonder if that's what it meant by talking about how they, uh, serve here in silence. I've only met three guys uh, who could... Uh, well, I'm going to head off to the west and see what fucking happens. Here we go.
So most of these guys don't know about Private Scow, but they don't question this at all. Right. Well, I guess this direction is west, isn't it? What's that? Vasistas. Thank you, Bottle. Guest starring Bottle. Nice scripted moment there, if like a giant spider lunges against the thing. Hey! I don't need you. You can just continue to grow. God fucking... First, put this away. Second... Achievement unlocked, the Mushroom King. I don't know if you guys can... What?! Gold nugget. A small nugget of alien gold. I'm just gonna walk around with the stick in my hand. Shout out to every Zoka who wanted to know if I could, uh, you know, set off these things without stepping in them by throwing sticks at them. Maybe it'll lock on if there's one in front of me, and I'll get real. Wow. Good call, Ari Zoka. I'll just take that. And that as well. I didn't even see that one! That's great! Well, I'm running low on sticks. I should really be able to carry more than five. I'm just saying. Oh no. Run! <laughs> ah! A nightmare like that not too long ago. The cloud is so the cloud of hornets is so thick like that that I couldn't see through it. I don't like bees. Uh, they're the ones that got all of the ones of. Uh, No! Oh no, I didn't need that one. Piss. Or that one. But I need that one. I'm gonna run out of fucking sticks. It's a really good throwing arm, too. It went straight there. He didn't, like, arc it or anything. Ho! Oh, okay, that is what I thought that was. It's not, uh... Oh, but I only have one stick left. Oh, isn't there a type of fucking mushroom that only grows under there? Ah! Ah! Bees! Oh. Oh shit, I forgot I'm not invisible anymore. I considered throwing my last stick at that, uh, beehive, but it's, uh, really big, and, uh... I don't know that one would have done it, since it has a health bar. Ah, oh, yes. The, sh the picturesque hills. I have to do keep that in hand. It's a... I 
if I had to bet, I would say that the door I'm looking for would be along the path somewhere. And I don't know what's in there, so pardon me a second while I get changed. Alright, put this stick away. Fuck, I'm in here. I am useless. Yeah, that would have been the switch that uh, ripped the thing right out of the wall if my plan had worked. Oh, I get it. I get it. He fixed up the first one with his right hand, and then it only switches to his left hand because he's got an object in it. Ugh. At least Tylo is going to be swole when all this is done. Yeah, fuck it. Oh, yeah, actually, that did work. Oh, except I missed that one. Fair. And then I sneak up here. This is infuriating. All right, I'm going to ask Rolo. I need to talk to him anyway, because apparently I'm doing an investigation for the Red Paw. M being a nerd, my mind instantly goes to the episode of Deep Space Nine that shows flashbacks to Odo doing a murder investigation for the Cardassians. Here we go. Join the Red Paw, I see. The Red Paw. Faced with the prospect of invasion, Roderick, the last rat king, abandoned his crown and fled as his kingdom descended into chaos. In the king's absence, the five rat barons, led by Osdric, united their forces and drove back the Saltarian warships. But there was no heir to the throne, and none could be crowned king anew, for the Stone of Ascension had been lost in the shipwreck that also claimed Roderick's life. Huh. So the barons assembled an emergency ruling council, moving quickly to restore the order restore order to the Kingdom of the Rats and the annexed lands of Meridia. Unrest is quelled with ruthless and bloody efficiency. The council's emblem, a circle surrounded by five crimson strokes, was intended to represent the five barons sitting in Congress. For the minds of many, it represented nothing less than a bloody footprint. The age of the Red Paw had begun. Okay, so they clearly overthrew him. I'm just saying. Oh, he died handily in a shipwreck, and we lost the stone that lets us make anyone else king, and what do you know, now we're in power. Private. Uh, yeah. He's really good. Oh! I am an idiot. I was expecting Blood Moon to be a uh, thing. Footnote. Aye. So he's the master, isn't he? Wait, which door? This door? This door? Okay, so, uh... 
Worked out it's not those steps. I always approach him from this angle to avoid the gazes of the guards and such, but, uh... I guess you're meant to be talking to him like... this. Because he's talking about the big main steps that lead up into the keep. Which means that that is the west gate. Right there. I wasn't pointing or anything. I just wanted to see where it was. But, uh, that will have to wait. I'm burning dog face. And the timer went when I was checking the footage. So I'm going to let him keep those florins. They've probably been in a bud anyway. And, hey, it's true, I didn't know what was where the uh, gate was until he told me. So, technically, he did do the thing that I paid him for. So I'll just call it here, and, uh, yeah. I'll see you on the next episode of Let's Play Ghost of a Tale, when Private Scow goes on patrol in the tunnels. Later!